And I'm here with State Senator Judy Schwank. Uh, what did you think of today's event? It was excellent. I learned so much about how the community college is partnering with industry to really uplift our community. You're know, listening to different um, students talk about the programs, the manufacturers talking about how they work in a, a very close partnership with the college to train new workers and to help promote people within you know their current employment. It's like it's a win-win situation. Yes. Very well, so many of today's jobs require this high technology training, as opposed to, you know, when I was younger. Well, I started my career as a vocational technical instructor, yeah. so I'm fully aware. I've watched this, you know, yes. evolve over the years, and it continues to change, and it will continue to change. So students are going to have to be thinking about lifelong learning. Um, industry is going to have to help to promote um, their employees to continue to train so they have the skills that they need. I mean, there's there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Well, your background is in agriculture. Of That's course, right. you're a Penn State Extension agent. You were dean at Delaware Valley College. Exactly. And even in agriculture, technology is changing things. Farmers have GPS on their tractors. Exactly. We have robotic milkers. We have at least two milking parlors, farms, that have totally robotic um, milking machines. This morning I was at FM Browns in Birdsboro. Mm -hmm. They put in a state-of-the-art, highly technical um, feed mill that will serve over a um, hundred mile radius agriculture. So it's, it's, yes, technology is everywhere in every industry. So, you know, community colleges like this are training people not necessarily just for companies like Carpenter, Hershey, oh, and, and exactly. East Penn. They're throughout throughout the entire region. Yes. There, there are opportunities for certain. Right. One of the things I like best today was the older worker who had been laid off, who was a victim of the recession, mm. and who had the gumption to come down here, look, talk to someone, right. see what would be available, has trained himself, and now is, is well employed. It's an excellent story. And, and that goes to the issue of job retraining. Uh, where it's just absolutely crucial to provide funding for people like him who are from the old economy to transition to the new economy after they've lost those traditional manufacturing jobs or whatever they had to get the technical training they need for the new economy. Right, so right. to restart their careers. Yeah. How do we keep funding these programs and you know where does some where do we find the money for the question it? is not whether we can how can we not really we must this is a priority this must be funded so i think on the state level we need to look at the funds that we are expending for education targeting them making sure they're strategically used for programs like this you know from k through 12 on up okay well, thank you very much, You're Senator.